The rhythmic hum of the engine and the monotonous drone of the tires against the asphalt provided a steady soundtrack to my solitary journey along the desolate highway. The vast expanse of darkness outside the reach of my headlights seemed to swallow the road ahead, leaving me alone with my thoughts and the distant glow of the dashboard lights. It was Christmas Eve, and I found myself traversing an unfamiliar stretch of highway in the heart of rural Kansas. The landscape, obscured by the veil of night, revealed little more than skeletal trees and the occasional flicker of a distant farmhouse. The radio, a companion in the solitude of the road, emitted faint carols that mingled with the low hum of the engine. As the clock approached midnight, a weariness settled into my bones. The holidays had been a blur of obligations and familial duties, and the road offered a brief respite from the chaos of the season. The plan was simple, drive through the night, reach my destination by morning, and embrace the warmth of familiarity. Amidst the hum of the engine, a disconcerting realization tugged at the edges of my consciousness, a pair of headlights lingered persistently in my rearview mirror. At first, I dismissed it as a mere coincidence, another lone traveler navigating the same lonely stretch of highway. However, as the miles passed, the unwavering glow of the pursuing headlights became a disconcerting presence. I adjusted my speed, testing the waters to see if the mysterious vehicle would follow suit. No matter how I varied my pace, the distant headlights remained a constant, mirroring my movements with an unsettling precision. A shiver crept down my spine as a sense of unease settled over me. The highway, flanked by an endless expanse of open fields, offered little solace. I stole glances at the rearview mirror, the ever-present headlights casting an ominous glow on the road behind me. The landscape, bathed in the cold light of the moon, became a spectral tableau, each passing mile amplifying the tension that coiled within me. I contemplated pulling over, convincing myself that the pursuing vehicle merely sought a shared stretch of the road. However, a voice within cautioned against it, an instinctive wariness that refused to be ignored. I continued to navigate the highway, the rhythmic drone of the tires now accompanied by the erratic beat of my anxious heart. The clock ticked closer to midnight, a cruel reminder of the holiday cheer that awaited at the end of my journey. The radio, once a source of festive melodies, now emanated a haunting version of Silent Night that seemed to resonate with the eerie atmosphere surrounding me. As I approached a desolate intersection, adorned by a flickering traffic light that seemed to sway in the winter breeze, a decision presented itself. Should I continue along the desolate stretch of highway, my mysterious pursuer in tow, or take a detour into the unknown? Opting for the latter, I turned onto a narrow country road, its path shrouded in darkness. The pursuing headlights dutifully followed, their glow now intensified by the absence of streetlights. The landscape, a monochromatic sea of shadows, held an ominous allure that set the stage for a disquieting encounter. The road twisted and turned, a labyrinthine maze that seemed to mock my attempts at evasion. My pulse quickened as the pursuing vehicle, an enigmatic presence in the night, maintained its unwavering pursuit. The air inside the car grew thick with tension, each passing moment a testament to the surreal nature of the situation. A cold wind howled through the cracked window, carrying with it the biting chill of the Kansas winter. The narrow road, flanked by skeletal trees that clawed at the night sky, bore an unsettling resemblance to a passage into the unknown. The headlights of my pursuer, now casting elongated shadows on the road ahead, seemed to echo the sense of foreboding that gripped me. My hands, gripped tightly around the steering wheel, betrayed the subtle tremor that coursed through my veins. The road unfurled like a ribbon, a solitary path that led into the heart of the unknown. The radio, now a mere whisper of its former festive self, emitted a distorted rendition of jingle bells that resonated with the dissonance of the moment. As the clock struck midnight, a profound stillness settled over the landscape. The pursuing vehicle, now an unrelenting presence in my rearview mirror, maintained its unwavering pursuit. The Christmas lights that adorned the distant farmhouse flickered with an unnatural intensity, casting long, distorted shadows that danced along the edges of my perception. With each passing mile, a realization gnawed at the edges of my consciousness, an inescapable truth that defied rational explanation. The pursuing vehicle, a phantom in the night, mirrored my every movement with an unnatural precision. No detour, no twist of the road, could sever the enigmatic connection that bound us together. Desperation gripped me as the road stretched endlessly before me. The distant farmhouse, now a distant speck on the horizon, seemed to mock my attempts at escape. 
the headlights of my pursuer, their glow undiminished by the passage of time, became a relentless beacon that pierced through the cold, unforgiving night. I contemplated reaching out to the authorities, my trembling fingers dialing the familiar digits on my phone. The voice on the other end, a decem. Odeed presence in the night, offered assurances that veered on the edge of incredulity. As I described the pursuit that unfolded along the desolate highway, a disconcerting realization settled over me, the inexplicable nature of my predicament rendered me an unwitting participant in a nightmarish game. The road, now a seemingly endless ribbon that coiled through the heart of the Kansas night, bore witness to the spectral pursuit that played out in its shadows. The farmhouse, a distant oasis that seemed perpetually out of reach, mocked my futile attempts at escape. The radio, a distorted chorus of holiday melodies, echoed the dissonance of the moment. With the passing miles, a sense of resignation settled within me. The pursuing vehicle, an unrelenting force in the night, maintained its unyielding pursuit. The clock, an indifferent witness to the surreal dance that unfolded in the small hours of Christmas morning, ticked away with maddening regularity. As the night wore on, the road seemed to stretch into infinity, its path illuminated by the eerie glow of the pursuing headlights. The farmhouse, now a mere memory etched into the recesses of my mind, faded into the obscurity of the night. The radio, now a mere murmur of static, emitted an incomprehensible symphony that seemed to resonate with the unseen forces that bound me to the enigmatic pursuit. The highway, once a conduit to my destination, became a labyrinthine maze that defied reason. The pursuing vehicle, an ethereal specter in the night, cast long shadows that danced upon the road. The Christmas lights that adorned the desolate landscape flickered with an otherworldly intensity, their festive glow now tainted by the surreal encounter that played out in the silent night. As the first light of dawn painted the horizon, a profound stillness settled over the landscape. The pursuing vehicle, its headlights now a fading ember in the early morning light, gradually receded into the distance. The road, once an infinite ribbon that coiled through the heart of the Kansas night, now stretched before me in a semblance of normalcy. I navigated the now familiar highway, the remnants of the surreal encounter lingering like a specter in the recesses of my mind. The radio, now a mere whisper of static, emitted an eerie silence that mirrored the aftermath of a disquieting dream. The Christmas lights that adorned the distant farmhouse, now a distant memory, served as a reminder of the inexplicable forces that lurked in the shadows of the night. As the sun cast its warm glow upon the desolate landscape, a sense of relief washed over me. The pursuing vehicle, a phantom in the night, had become a distant echo that faded into the recesses of memory. The highway, once a conduit to the unknown, now stretched before me in the light of day, its secrets concealed beneath the veil of normalcy. With each passing mile, the events of that surreal night seemed to blur into the tapestry of the road. The farmhouse, the narrow country road, the enigmatic pursuit, all became fragments of a disconcerting dream that defied rational explanation. The radio, now a mere murmur of static, emitted the familiar melodies of a world that appeared unchanged by the inexplicable events that transpired in the small hours of Christmas morning. As I reached my destination, the weariness that clung to my bones seemed to dissipate in the light of day. The road, with its mysteries and terrors, had become a mere conduit to the familiar embrace of family and holiday cheer. The clock, its inexorable march interrupted by the surreal encounter, now heralded the dawn of a new day. As I stepped out of the car and embraced the warmth of home, a lingering unease remained, an indelible mark of the inexplicable encounter that unfolded along the desolate highways of rural Kansas. The Christmas lights that adorned the familiar surroundings seemed to shimmer with an otherworldly glow, their festive radiance now tinged with the memory of the enigmatic pursuit that played out in the silent night. And so, as the holiday festivities unfolded in the embrace of family and laughter, the events of that surreal Christmas Eve became a haunting echo that lingered in the corners of my consciousness. The road, with its mysteries and terrors, had become a testament to the inexplicable forces that lurked in the shadows, a reminder that even in the warmth of holiday cheer, the unknown could manifest in the most unexpected of ways. Let's hop on to story number two, but before I begin reading, make sure that you have subscribed to Mr. Scare for regular horror podcasts. The rhythmic hum of the tires against the pavement served as the only company in the solitude of the late night drive. I found myself navigating the winding roads of upstate New York, the cold embrace of winter evident in the skeletal branches that clawed at the night sky. 
Christmas decorations adorned the quaint houses that dotted the landscape, their festive glow providing a stark contrast to the inky darkness beyond. As I drove, my attention turned to the state-of-the-art navigation system that guided my journey. Its sleek interface displayed the familiar route, a digital thread weaving through the silent night. However, an inexplicable unease settled within me as I noticed a subtle anomaly, the system began suggesting alternate routes that veered away from the familiar path. Initially dismissing it as a glitch, I continued along the intended route. The radio, playing a medley of holiday classics, served as a comforting backdrop to the journey. Yet, the navigation system persisted, each deviation it proposed leading to increasingly disturbing locations, desolate stretches of road, abandoned industrial complexes, and remote forests where the shadows seemed to linger with an unnatural intensity. Frustration set in as I attempted to override the system, recalibrating it to adhere to the original course. To my dismay, the digital voice persisted, a disembodied guide urging me toward ominous destinations. The Christmas decorations, now a mere blur of lights in the periphery, seemed to mock my futile attempts at control. As I approached an isolated crossroads, the navigation system insisted on a turn that led into the heart of a dense forest. A palpable tension filled the air as the skeletal trees closed in on the narrow road, their branches creating an eerie canopy overhead. The radio, once a source of holiday cheer, emitted a distorted rendition of Oh Holy Night that seemed to resonate with the dissonance of the moment. Against my better judgment, I followed the designated path, the headlights cutting through the impenetrable darkness that surrounded me. The digital voice, now a constant presence, provided no respite as it guided me deeper into the heart of the foreboding forest. The road, shrouded in the wintry silence, became a passage into the unknown. As I navigated the winding curves, a sense of isolation settled over me. The dense thicket of trees obscured any sign of civilization, and the radio, now a mere whisper of static, served as a haunting reminder of the surreal nature of the journey. The Christmas lights that once adorned the cozy homes now felt like a distant memory, replaced by the looming shadows that danced along the edges of my perception. The navigation system, relentless in its directives, indicated an upcoming clearing, a desolate expanse where the moon cast an ethereal glow upon the snow-covered ground. As I entered the open space, a profound stillness settled over the landscape, the silence broken only by the low hum of the engine. To my bewilderment, the headlights illuminated a gathering of figures in the distance. Their silhouettes, obscured by the darkness, seemed to sway in unison. A sense of trepidation crept over me as the digital voice, now tinged with an unsettling urgency, urged me to approach the gathering. I hesitated, the rhythmic pulse of fear quickening within me. The figures, barely discernible in the shadowy landscape, continued their rhythmic movements. The radio, now a discordant cacophony of static, seemed to mirror the dissonance that surrounded me. A choice lay before me, heed the eerie directive of the navigation system and approach the mysterious gathering, or resist its influence and forge my own path. As I grappled with the decision, a chill permeated the air, and the digital voice, now a sinister whisper, echoed through the confines of the car. Against my instincts, I steered toward the gathering, the headlights revealing a surreal tableau. The figures, adorned in tattered clothing, swayed with an otherworldly rhythm. Their faces, obscured by shadows, betrayed no emotion as they continued their eerie dance. The radio, once a source of comfort, emitted a haunting melody that seemed to synchronize with the spectral movements before me. The Christmas lights that adorned the distant homes felt like a distant memory, replaced by the ominous glow of the figures in the clearing. The navigation system, its digital display now awash with cryptic symbols, guided me to the epicenter of the gathering. The figures, their movements growing more frenetic, created an unsettling atmosphere that reverberated through the silent night. Fear clutched at my chest as the realization dawned, I had become an unwilling participant in a ritual that defied rational explanation. With each passing moment, the dissonance intensified. The figures, their movements now erratic, seemed to channel an otherworldly energy that permeated the clearing. The radio emitted a distorted melody that mirrored the spectral dance before me. The Christmas lights, once a symbol of festive cheer, became a distant echo in the recesses of my memory. As the climax of the ritual approached, a surge of dread coursed through me. The navigation system, its display now a chaotic array of symbols, guided me to a focal point within the gathering. The figures, their movements reaching a fevered pitch, seemed to transcend the boundaries of the natural world. 
In an act of defiance, I veered away from the guided path, the rhythmic pulse of fear urging me to escape the surreal tableau. The figures, their attention now fixed upon me, exuded an otherworldly malevolence that seemed to pierce through the wintry night. As I accelerated away from the clearing, a sense of relief washed over me. The figures, their spectral dance fading into the distance, became mere shadows in the rearview mirror. The radio, now a distant hum of static, marked the boundary between the surreal and the familiar. The dense forest gradually gave way to the familiar expanse of the open road. The Christmas decorations, now a comforting beacon in the night, signaled a return to the known. The navigation system, its directives replaced by the serene voice of the digital assistant, resumed its role as a guide through the mundane. As I left the isolated forest behind, the echoes of the enigmatic gathering lingered in the recesses of my mind. The Christmas lights that adorned the quaint homes served as a reminder of the inexplicable forces that lurked in the shadows. The radio, now a melodic serenade, accompanied the journey into the embrace of the familiar. The night, once fraught with dissonance and surreal encounters, gradually surrendered to the mundane rhythm of the road. The digital voice, its influence waning, guided me toward the destination that had eluded me during the inexplicable detour. The Christmas lights, now a comforting presence, illuminated the path ahead as I navigated the winding roads of upstate New York. As I approached the welcoming glow of a small town, a profound sense of gratitude washed over me. The radio, now a soothing melody, provided a soundtrack to the journey's conclusion. The Christmas decorations, adorning the storefronts and homes, marked a return to the familiar embrace of holiday cheer. In the wake of the surreal encounter, I pondered the inexplicable forces that had guided me through the wintry night. The dense forest, the spectral figures, and the dissonant dance all became fragments of a disconcerting dream that defied rational explanation. The Christmas lights, now a symbol of resilience, accompanied me as I navigated the final miles of the journey. As the night gave way to the soft glow of dawn, I arrived at my destination, the town adorned with festive decorations and the comforting warmth of holiday cheer. The radio, now a distant echo, heralded the conclusion of the surreal odyssey. The Christmas lights, shining with an otherworldly radiance, marked the boundary between the unknown and the familiar. And so, as the sun cast its golden glow upon the snow-covered landscape, I reflected on the enigmatic detour that had unfolded in the quietude of the Christmas Eve night. The navigation system, once a harbinger of unsettling paths, resumed its role as a guide through the mundane. The Christmas lights, now a beacon of familiarity, ushered in a sense of normalcy that belied the surreal nature of the journey. As the town welcomed the arrival of Christmas morning, I embraced the embrace of holiday cheer, leaving behind the shadows that had clung to the edges of the wintry night. The Christmas lights, now a symbol of resilience, adorned the quaint homes with a festive radiance that mirrored the triumph over the inexplicable forces that lurked in the darkness. The night was dense with an inky blackness as I steered my car into the desolate gas station. The flickering lights above seemed to dance erratically, casting eerie shadows across the cracked pavement. A chill ran down my spine, but the low fuel gauge demanded my attention, leaving me with no choice but to pull over at this isolated outpost. As I stepped out of the car, the biting cold of the December night gnawed at my bones. A gust of wind carried with it the faint scent of gasoline, mingled with something more sinister, something unidentifiable that set my nerves on edge. The gas station, a solitary structure surrounded by the vast emptiness of the night, felt like a relic from a bygone era. The attendants emerged from the dimly lit convenience store, their faces obscured by the shadows cast by the erratic lights above. Their features seemed distorted, and an uneasy feeling settled within me as I approached. The wind whispered through the skeletal branches of the nearby trees, a haunting symphony that accompanied my arrival. Evening, I greeted, the words hanging in the frigid air. The attendants, their eyes hidden beneath the brims of worn-out caps, offered a curt nod in response. There was something unnerving about their silence, a tension that lingered between us like a thick fog. I dismissed it as a consequence of the late hour and my overactive imagination, choosing to focus on the task at hand, fueling up and getting back on the road. As I unscrewed the gas cap and inserted the nozzle into the tank, a metallic tang filled the air. The gas station seemed frozen in time, the flickering lights casting a disjointed glow that accentuated the eeriness of the surroundings. I couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to this place than met the eye. 
A sudden clatter echoed from within the convenience store, and I turned to see one of the attendants hastily restocking shelves. The other stood motionless, their gaze fixed on the dimly lit horizon. Unease crawled up my spine like an army of spiders as I finished fueling up and approached the store. The bell above the entrance jingled as I pushed the door open, the creaking sound echoing through the empty aisles. The interior felt oppressive, a heavy silence broken only by the distant hum of refrigeration units. Shelves were lined with dusty cans and expired snacks, relics of a time when this place might have seen more life. Everything okay? I ventured, my voice swallowed by the stillness. The attendants exchanged a furtive glance, their eyes betraying a sense of shared unease. Just closing up early, one of them mumbled, their words hanging in the frigid air. I surveyed the dimly lit store, the flickering fluorescent lights casting unsettling shadows across the aisles. The Christmas decorations, haphazardly hung with worn-out garlands, added to the surreal atmosphere. It was as if time stood still in this forsaken place, trapped in a perpetual twilight. As I approached the counter, my eyes were drawn to a peculiar sight, a stack of old Polaroid photographs scattered haphazardly next to the cash register. The faded images depicted faces I couldn't recognize, frozen in moments of laughter and camaraderie. The attendants exchanged nervous glances as I examined the photographs, their expressions betraying a reluctance to share the stories behind those forgotten smiles. A disconcerting realization settled over me, a realization that this gas station held more than just fuel and snacks. It held a tapestry of stories, each photograph a fragment of a forgotten narrative. The air seemed to thicken with the weight of untold secrets. Are you folks okay? I asked, the words barely audible in the oppressive silence. The attendants exchanged another glance, this one laden with a shared burden. The wind outside howled through the gaps in the station's aging walls, and the flickering lights seemed to conspire with the shadows, weaving a tale of something sinister beneath the surface. We close early tonight, one of the attendants finally spoke, their voice barely a whisper. You should go. The urgency in their words sent shivers down my spine. I fumbled for my wallet, paid for the gas, and hastily exited the store. The bell jingled behind me, the sound a haunting farewell as I stepped back into the cold embrace of the December night. As I drove away from that desolate outpost, the images of those forgotten faces lingered in my mind. The gas station, with its flickering lights and unwelcoming attendants, held a secret, one that I could sense but not fully comprehend. The road stretched out before me, an uncertain path leading away from that twilight realm. The wind outside whispered cryptic secrets, and the memories of the gas station lingered like a ghostly apparition in my rearview mirror. The Christmas lights, now a distant memory, painted the night with a forlorn glow. As I navigated the winding road, I couldn't shake the feeling that I had glimpsed something beyond the ordinary, something hidden beneath the veneer of a forgotten outpost in the heart of nowhere. The gas station, with its flickering lights and untold stories, became a spectral landmark in the vast expanse of the night, a place forever etched in the tapestry of my memories. The dense forest stretched out before me like an impenetrable wall of shadows as I maneuvered my car along the winding road. The towering trees loomed on either side, their skeletal branches reaching towards the inky sky. The only sounds were the hum of the engine and the occasional rustle of leaves in the frigid wind. The dashboard clock glowed a faint 11.58 p.m. The air inside the car was charged with the anticipation of the looming Christmas morning. I was on my way to spend the holiday with family, navigating a shortcut through a remote forest to avoid the congestion of the main highway. Little did I know that this decision would plunge me into an unsettling encounter with the unknown. As I rounded a bend in the road, my eyes caught the eerie glow of red taillights up ahead. I eased my foot off the gas, my headlights revealing an unexpected roadblock that seemed to materialize out of the darkness. My heart quickened its pace, and I brought the car to a halt. Panic set in as I surveyed the scene before me. Large branches, arranged strategically to create an imposing barrier, blocked any passage. My mind raced, grappling with the inexplicable appearance of this barricade in the middle of nowhere. I fumbled for my phone, fingers trembling as I dialed the local sheriff's office. The voice on the other end of the line was calm but laden with a wearied familiarity. We don't have any reports of roadblocks in that area, sir, the dispatcher informed me. A chill ran down my spine as I ended the call. My gaze shifted back to the foreboding blockade, 
and a sense of foreboding settled over me. I scanned the shadows beyond the headlights, my eyes straining to pierce the impenetrable darkness. In the stillness of the forest, a sudden rustling reached my ears. It was a subtle but unsettling sound, like the soft whisper of unseen figures moving among the trees. I peered into the abyss of the woods, my senses heightened by a growing sense of dread. As if conjured from the night itself, figures began to emerge from the shadows. Tall and gaunt, their forms seemed to blur with the surrounding darkness. I sat frozen, my breath catching in my throat as they advanced toward the roadblock. There was an otherworldly quality to their movements, a languid grace that sent shivers down my spine. Their faces remained hidden in the depths of the night, and an indescribable terror clawed at my chest. I fumbled to start the car, desperation replacing reason as I slammed my foot on the gas pedal. The engine roared to life, and the car surged forward, its headlights casting wild shadows that danced along the forest floor. I navigated around the makeshift barrier, my eyes fixated on the rearview mirror, watching as the figures vanished back into the blackness. The road stretched out before me, an unending path through the heart of the forest. Fear lingered like a specter in the car, and I couldn't shake the feeling that I had glimpsed something beyond the realm of the ordinary. The clock on the dashboard ticked away the seconds, each one a reminder of the inexplicable encounter that had unfolded beneath the canopy of the trees. As I continued my journey through the night, the forest seemed to close in around me, its secrets hidden in the shadows. The distant memory of the roadblock and the elusive figures haunted my thoughts, weaving a tale of Christmas Eve in the heart of the unknown. The darkness outside pressed against the windows, and the wind carried with it a chorus of unseen whispers. I dared not look into the rearview mirror, half expecting to find those ethereal figures trailing behind. The forest, a labyrinth of mysteries, held its secrets close, and I was left to navigate its twisting roads with a newfound awareness of the enigma that lurked within its depths. The clock struck midnight, and Christmas arrived in a quiet forest where the line between reality and the supernatural blurred. The road stretched out before me, an unending ribbon through the heart of the unknown, and I couldn't help but wonder what other secrets lay hidden in the shadows of that fateful night. The hum of the engine and the rhythmic beat of rain on the windshield provided a monotonous soundtrack to my late night drive through the quiet backroads of upstate New York. The clock on the dashboard displayed 2.33 a.m., and the darkness outside seemed impenetrable. The only source of illumination was the feeble glow of my headlights cutting through the night. I leaned back into the worn leather seat, trying to shake off the fatigue that threatened to overwhelm me. The journey back home after the Christmas festivities had taken its toll, and the road ahead seemed to stretch into an endless abyss. It was during this stretch of desolate highway that I first heard the voice, a soft whisper that caught through the drone of the rain. At first, I dismissed it as a figment of my tired mind, a stray thought bouncing around the recesses of my brain. But as the seconds ticked by, the voice became more distinct, more insistent. Turning my attention away from the road for a brief moment, I glanced into the rearview mirror. My gaze swept over the empty back seat, the interior of the car bathed in the eerie glow of the dashboard lights. Confusion knitted my brow as I tried to make sense of the disembodied voice that continued its soft murmur. Remember that Christmas when you were eight, the voice murmured, a faint echo that seemed to dance on the edge of my consciousness. The mention of my childhood sent a shiver down my spine, the memories of that long-forgotten Christmas resurfacing. The voice in the back seat spoke with an uncanny familiarity, recounting details of my life that I had long buried in the recesses of memory. It spoke of personal moments, secrets, and fears that I had never shared with anyone. Panic tightened its grip on my chest as I strained to comprehend the impossible. The windshield wipers slashed away the rain, creating a rhythmic beat that underscored the surreal nature of the situation. The voice continued its haunting narrative, weaving a tale of my life with an unsettling precision that defied reason. As I navigated the winding roads, the voice delved into increasingly chilling details. It spoke of choices I had made, regrets that weighed on my conscience, and the darkness that lurked beneath the veneer of normalcy. I felt exposed, as if an unseen force had ripped away the layers of my soul and laid them bare in the sterile glow of the car's interior. I grappled with a growing sense of dread, my hands tightening around the steering wheel. The voice's whispers painted a picture of a presence in the back seat, one that held a dark secret, one that seemed to know more about me than I knew about myself. 
The minutes stretched into an eternity as the voice in the back seat grew more insistent, its tone shifting from a gentle murmur to a guttural whisper that sent shivers down my spine. It spoke of a choice I had yet to make, a decision that would alter the course of my life in ways unimaginable. My surroundings blurred as the road twisted and turned, the voice enveloping me in a nightmarish symphony of revelations. The rain outside beat against the car like a relentless drum, and the soft glow of Christmas lights from distant houses flickered like distant stars in a vast, indifferent universe. I couldn't escape the feeling that I was hurtling towards an unavoidable precipice, and the voice in the back seat seemed to revel in the impending darkness. The road ahead was shrouded in uncertainty, and I was left to confront the unsettling truth that the voice carried, a truth that held the key to a destiny I had been unaware of until that fateful night. The clock on the dashboard glowed 3.17 a.m. as I pulled into my driveway, the engine falling silent. The rain outside had subsided, leaving behind a quiet stillness. I sat in the driver's seat, the weight of the encounter settling over me like a suffocating cloak. The voice, now a mere echo in the recesses of my mind, left me grappling with questions that defied rational explanation. Was it a figment of my imagination, a manifestation of fatigue and stress? Or had I, in the solitude of that lonely drive, brushed against something beyond the realm of understanding? As I stepped out into the crisp night air, the Christmas lights from neighboring houses blinked in silent witness to the enigma that had unfolded within the confines of my car. The voice had left, but its haunting words lingered, casting a shadow over the holiday season and leaving me to confront the unsettling truth that some mysteries defied both reason and resolution.